Are we about to do this? I think we're about to do this. Okay. Hey guys. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Andrea. Nice to meet you. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Oh, I'm so nervous. You already know what's about to go down. Honestly, you saw the title of this video. Let me just give you guys a background story before you start judging, okay? If you saw my last video, hopefully you did, I did a braces vlog, so I got my braces in May. Obviously, it's August. I'm about three months in. I've had one tightening appointment so far, and that was last week. But in my last video, which was my braces video, let me just roll the clip. <laughs> So there's a different color for the top and the bottom? Um, they just go on the top. Okay. They go on like the first six too. Okay. And they're, um, they're like a reward to just make sure your brush is really good because if your brush is not really to take them off, you can't put them back on. Mm. I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that. So basically, the orthodontist told me that they would only be putting color bands on the first six of my teeth, like the front six. So like these six right here and the rest of my mouth would just be like bandless. So I was walking around with six green bands in the front of my teeth and then the rest were just like silver. And on top of that, she told me if I came to my next appointment, I would not get bands again, ever again, if there was proof that I wasn't brushing correctly. Like she told me bands were a reward. And I looked at them like, you're trifling, for real. <laughs> what is this? I'm paying for this stuff. Best believe I'm going to get what I deserve and I'm going to get what I like. Yes, braces are a tool and they're a correction tool and they're not an accessory, but they've been made an accessory and I'm going to look good and that's that. Like, if I don't like my braces, what am I gonna do? Like, I'm gonna be walking around for two plus years with these on. I'm going to accessorize them, make sure I look good and I feel comfortable and I feel good in them. So, in result of the triflingness that I heard, well, I decided that, you know what, if you guys are not gonna give me my mans, I'm gonna do it myself, period. And I decided for my next appointment, which is my tightening appointment, which I had last week, I will not get anything. So, I don't have anything. I don't have anything on my on my braces like I just have the brackets and I just have the wires I have no bands so that is the backstory and that is the justification of why I bought the bands now I bought bands and a power chain off of Amazon I I can't tell y'all why, I just like how they look. I know that power chains aren't like bands. Bands are the accessories that make your braces look pretty. Power chains, they have them in different colors that also make your braces look pretty, but they're really for extra strength, I believe. Like, they do what your wires are not able to do. So your wires are the things that tighten up your mouth when your wires have reached their full potential and they're not able to do more, the orthodontist will put power chains on you. So that's hence the name, power chains. They give extra strength, extra hold, extra tightening, and do what the wires were not able to do. I like the look of them. That sounds really dumb, doesn't it? It sounds dumb. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe I should, should I host like a, I should probably do a pros and cons list, sorry. I'm a, okay, pros. Pros are that they're pretty. I think that's enough, honestly. All right, I am technically, because at the end of the day, I probably will get power chains down the line. Most people end up getting power chains down the line. So I'm probably cutting my process time in half. Yeah, so they look pretty. My process time is being cut in half and I finally get bands because it seems like my orthodontist probably wasn't gonna give me any. That's good enough for me. Is that good enough for you guys? I don't know, we're, gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna be orthodontists today. So I have two packages right in front of me. Probably should have opened them because Lord have mercy, I'd be, I don't know about y'all, but Amazon's packaging, it's tight knit, but at the same time, it's not tight knit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm struggling. I'm struggling right now. Yeah. But, I, okay, never mind. I'm not struggling. Ooh, so this is the power chain. What the heck? This is not the color I ordered. Maybe it is. I don't know. So that's the power chain. 
What's the point of getting braces if you're not gonna use them to cut stuff? What's the point? What's the point? Here are the bands. There's no application tool. Lord have mercy on my soul. We about to apply these without any tools. We could do it, we could do it. All right, so obviously I have color bands. They come in all different colors. I go to Spelman College and school's about to start and I wanted to do like a school theme. I don't really have a favorite color. I don't see the point of having a favorite color. I do have colors that I wear often and the colors that I wear often are usually the school colors that I'm attending at that moment. Now I go to Spelman College, our school colors are just like baby blue or whatever. We call it Spelman blue, but I think it's baby blue. Now my entire closet is just baby blue. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to put some baby blue power chains. So I'm thinking of doing baby blue power chains. Am I for real doing this? Yeah, we doing it. I, I, I spent too much money not to do this now. Baby blue power chains and then like navy blue bands. I think that's cute. If I'm being for real with y'all, I don't really know what navy blue looks like. I mean, I do when it's like by itself but i have too many shades of blue in front of me right now so uh it's causing just a bit of confusion on my part i honestly like this middle shade the most but this shade right here gives the most contrast maybe i'll do both <laughs> i'm a designer she a designer, she a designer. Okay, hi, we're back. Um, I had to take a little break or whatever because I figured we, we would need tweezers and then I had to go boil the tweezers. So they're clean now, let's get this party started. Okay, so it makes the most sense in my mind to start with the power chains first and then put the bands on, right? That makes the most sense to me. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know, I have a lot of brackets, but I'm figuring it's not gonna be longer than like I'm not gonna need more than this much on the t on the bottom. I just think it's easier than just carrying the entire roll around with me. Like that's just too much. So right now I'm just going to start from the back and then work my way around. This is a lot harder than I anticipated. See, this is why everyone can't be an orthodontist, okay? because this stuff is hard. It's probably not too hard, but I just don't have the right tools. Okay, we got a YouTube video going. I feel like I could do it. The hardest part is just starting. Once I have like the start and it's gripped onto something, I can just pull and then fit, pull, fit, you know? But it's the fact that I can't even start that last part, that's the hardest part. I'm there, I'm there. I got a hook. I did. I got a hook. I'm drooling, bro. Okay, don't mind my lip gloss or anything. Everything's all over the place. But I was able to do this. I think I'm done for the bottom row. I still have my two back ones. My two back molars also have um, brackets on them. But they don't have the hook thing, so it's it's not possible. All right, so I'm gonna cut the end off, and I think this is enough to just use whatever was right here and do my top row, and then I'll start on my bands. They look so cute, though. Ha 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 ha. So the people told told me I couldn't do it. Look at you. Look at you. Exactly. All right, just cut it. It was so cute. I'm so happy, bro. Look. And I would have waited and never got them. I would have waited and never got them. See, this is what happens when you take things into your own hands. You get your own results. And if I had waited, they probably didn't even have this color at the orthodontist. Because they, they barely had any colors for real. Mm-hmm, it's given, it's given. Yep. I love it like this 
should I just keep it like this or I should now nah, what type of question is that I'm going to continue yeah it's not going to work I might just have to buy the applicator but this is what the, the power chain looks like it's very cute I'm very glad and happy I did this they're a bit tight which is good and a bit concerning but very good I think because now it's doing its job it's doing its job I like the color so much and how much it brightens my smile and I'll come back to y'all in a week maybe with the bands all right obviously it's a new day I got new clothes on a bed barely made up um so let me just give you guys the rundown because this is not the appearance y'all saw last time so I put on the power chain successfully. Y'all y'all saw that part. And they were good. They hurt. Let me tell you, they hurt. But you know, I'm used to being in pain or whatever. So I was like, let me just go through it. I can endure this. It's no big deal. And then I started feeling my teeth shit. So I applied the power chains on Saturday. I was supposed to also apply the bands on Saturday, but I didn't have the applicator, so I had to wait. I applied the power chains on Saturday. It is currently Thursday, so I had to wait about five days for this thing. Got it. I ended up taking off the power chains on Sunday because I like my teeth are already pretty. They're already pretty straight. I don't have any gaps. Power chains are usually for like gaps and just pulling teeth more together if my teeth are already like this and I put power chains on them they're gonna start shifting like this and I could already like in one day y'all I could already feel the pain I could already feel the shifting so I took them off because I got scared they look so cute though my fault for thinking I could be an orthodontist or whatever I mean I still can look at me it leads me to what we are going to be doing today, how we're going to finish out this video. I'm going to be putting on the rest of the bands. Yes, sir. I still don't know like if I want to do a pattern. I'm seeing like people, they do like every other pattern or whatever. So like pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. I don't, I'm not a fan, no. I can't wait though. I have all these pinks and greens and all that stuff. Like, you have to be trippy red. Yes, sir. So, I have this applicator and how it works is so here is it released. And obviously, it's a close claw. When I press on the gun part, it opens like this. So, I'm going to put. So, here are the baby blue ones. I'm going to put it in between right here and then just open it and then I'm gonna put it here and close it and it should not as stuck hold on okay we good again this is not a tutorial y'all don't listen to me okay don't mind anything don't mind how I look right now don't mind my background none of that none of that I apologize for coming on it's the next day this video has just been way too long it's long it's taken longer than I expected it's been about two weeks in total but my cat my car got full so I could not finish recording and I really just wanted to end this I was able to put the blue I just put straight light blue a bit difficult at first but then I actually got the hang of this tool I was using a toothpick but really all I had to do was push it fully and then it fit so I didn't need the toothpick at the end of the day. But I'm very happy with my decision. Um, I will continue to play around with them. I will try to do patterns and colors next time. And thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll link everything down below so you can do it yourself as well. Even though this wasn't a tutorial, I might have been clear enough for you to learn from, you know, hopefully. Uh, good luck if you're actually planning on do that. Make sure if you're doing power chains that you actually have power chains yourself. You know, don't 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 put it on if you don't have power, power chains yet. Anyway, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. Love you all. Bye. Peace. Love. Joy. Whatever. Amen. All right. Bye.